Father's intercession is so powerful. So on this fourth day of our novena, we are praying that no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we want to pray for fruitfulness of work. God should bless the work we do. We read from Psalm 90, verses 16 to 17. Let your work be manifest to your servants, and your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper for us the work of our hands, who oh, prosper the work of of our hands. May God grant success to the work we do. May we flourish through the work we do. May we thrive because the hand of God is upon what we do. Let us pray. O Mother of Perpetual Help, for the ingratitude with which until now I have repaid your mercies and those of God, I deserve as just punishment your depriving me of your favors. But O my sweet Mother, no matter how great my ingratitude is, your kindness is even greater. Do not disdain, therefore, to help a poor sinner who confides in you. Your heart overflows with charity for all, and never has one heard it said that any unfortunate soul had left your feet without having his tears dried. Do not forget my miseries. Intercede for me before the God of goodness, who refuses you nothing and prove once more that you are worthy of the sweet name of perpetual help. Amen. Amen. The Novena Prayer Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, From the cross Jesus gave you to us as our mother, you are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crash us to the ground. Dearest mother, 
share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us, strengthening our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all who are praying this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to the oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. Amen. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you do I come. Before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Amen. We bring our prayers and our thanksgivings to God as we pray. Grant us continued health of mind and body and help the sick to regain their strength according to your holy will. Hear us, Lord, through Mary our mother. Accept, Lord, our thanks for all the graces received through the sacramental life of the Church. We thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Please, Lord, accept our thanks for the spiritual and the material blessings we have received. We thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Let us pray. O Mother of perpetual help, 
numerous clients continually surround your holy picture, all imploring your mercy. All bless you as the assured help of the miserable. All feel the benefit of your maternal protection. With confidence then, I do present myself before you in my misery. See, dear mother, the many evils to which we are exposed. See how numerous are our wants. Trials and sorrows often press us. Reverses of fortune and privations, often grievous, bring misery into our homes. Everywhere we meet the cross. Have pity, compassionate mother, on us and on our families especially in our necessities. Jesus, hear us. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we go through this day, may the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, that he may defend you. May he be within you, that he may sustain you. May he be before you, that he may lead you. Behind you, that he may protect you. Above you, that he may bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remain blessed as you go through this day. Amen.